Karen Bryan for M.A. Heat. I'm here with Misha Tate. Look at her with her shiny, perfect strike. Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> strike force belt, which she will be defending against Ronda Rousey in March. Now, first and foremost, you know, people have made a lot about Ronda's approach to this fight in terms of talking it up, maybe saying some things to try to get under your skin. What do you make of that, and, and how do you feel about her as an opponent? I just think that she's trying to sell a fight. I mean, I don't even think it's anything personal for her. I don't even think she really feels that way, which is kind of, you know, weird because I... I I don't think it's sincere you know I think it's all just talk and um, the thing is you know she's gonna have to own up to it you know what I mean she's got to put her money where her mouth is so she's talking all this game and she's gonna look like an idiot if she can't back it up so um, you know she's smart in her strategy but uh, it leads to having a lot of more pressure on her in the, at the end of the day because I think when you're humble it's easier to you know what I mean take a loss with you know being humble than it is to take a loss with having a big head and a big ego and you know telling everyone how good you are and then not being you know not measuring up so um at the end of the day you know i i still don't like her <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth of the matter. Um, I'm sure she's not a bad person, but, uh, you know, it was one thing when she was attacking me, but, you know, to attack my loved ones or, you know, to make rude comments about, you know, Brian and, and insult him is uh, taking it way too far, in my opinion. She's kind of taking this whole marketing thing and acting like she knows it all. And, uh, you know, um, it's just really adding fuel to the fire for me. Yeah, I was going to say, it, you've mentioned that you feel like there should be a little bit more of a respect element in the game or just the way you treat each other. And so... People could also say, well, she's being effective and she's getting under your skin, and how will that affect you? Is it going to make it worse for you since you might actually be fighting somebody you don't like? And will that mess with your head or not? I think it's just what I need, actually. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that I've been fighting for long enough that sometimes I get a little bit comfortable. You know what I mean? That's the truth of the matter. And, and when you don't like someone, the, the idea of losing to them is just unbearable. Like, I cannot think of losing to this girl. It, like, cannot happen. Like, my pride is on the line here, people. <laughs> you don't understand. It's not just winning the fight or keeping my title. It's like, you know, this bitch is not going to beat me. There's no way this is going to happen. So I think for me, it's just going to really make it that much more exciting because you're going to see a much more exhilarated me. You're going to see a much more um, pumped, you know, uh, and vicious, I think, you know, because I just, I don't want to just, like, fight this girl. Like, I don't want to just beat her. I want to, like, really, like, hurt her. Like, I really do. I want to, like, mar her face if at all possible. That'd be nice. <laughs> and so all of this aside, no, I mean, the fact that before people were saying maybe she shouldn't rightfully be challenging for the title yet because she hadn't had enough fights. So would you have preferred to fight Sarah? But it sounds like no, because it sounds like now you really would prefer to fight Ronda because you want to take her out. At this point, it's a toss-up. You know, there's benefits to both. I think this fight sells better. I think it's going to do more for me in the long run for my career and for the, my future fights than Sarah Kaufman and I would at this point. However, you know, I have a loss to avenge Sarah Kaufman. You know what I mean? I hold the title that she once had. It's an interesting story, so she'd actually be challenging me for the belt that she once had. Um, yet I have the loss to her from, like, almost three years ago, and I've been hungry to avenge that ever since that day. So I think that makes for an exciting story selling point and uh, you know but then again you know Rhonda comes in here and I just really want to knock her head all right off her block <laughs> so I mean either way it's gonna make for a, a spectacular uh, night of fights and I, I think that this order actually will make the fight between uh, Sarah and I down the road bigger Let's talk about the strength. Some people have said, well, this woman was already in the Olympics at a young age. She's a better athlete than you who picked up wrestling as a hobby or, you know, later in, in your life. So what do you make of that critique? Well, let's use George St. Pierre as an example because he's someone that I really look up to. And not only what he does in the cage and his strategy and how calm and, and cool and collected he always stays, but uh, his humbleness as well. So I appreciate him as a person outside uh, outside the cage as well. But, but George never had even a wrestling background, yet he can out-wrestle some of the best wrestlers in the world because he can put it together well in MMA and his experience uh, you know I feel my experience and my transitions between striking and wrestling are much better than hers between her striking and her judo um, so I feel that I'll be able to put together a more well-rounded game plan because I have more tools to work with I've been working all of it for a lot longer than she has and I also think there's simple ways to uh, shut down the judo the, there's things that I don't even have to play the judo game if I don't want to you know things that I can do just to nullify it's kind of like uh, you know when a, when a wrestler sits in the guard and they just shut down the uh, the uh, jujitsu, you know, they just hands on, you know, and they just shut it down. They don't even have to play the game; they just stop it until that they can they can, you know. There, there's ways to do that with judo and wrestling. You know, is is a good uh, it's a good background to have in order to be able to shut the judo down. So. 
It will be interesting. I have a solid game plan that Brian and I have put together, and you know what I mean? He's literally coached me to a world title. So I'm con everybody's confident in his skill set and his uh, game planning ability, and we're working it every day, day in and day out. I'm sleeping, dreaming, eating, everything, game plan, beat Rhonda's face in. Got it. <laughs> Last question. You know, she's obviously dropping in weight to come fight you, and she, I know, is on a diet right now. She, like she said, she drinks a lot and pees a lot, and uh, we were talking about that the other day with her. Do you think that's going to affect the fight between the two of you at all, the fact that she has to come down, do you think that's going to affect strength, be better for you, be better for her, be worse? I think that it's going to definitely, it's going to affect her obviously more than me because I'm used to it, you know, the, uh, I've been cutting weight for a long time, so even if she doesn't have to cut that much, if she's not used to doing it, it can still feel really awful and it, and it can change the way that your, you know, your mental, um, the way that you're feeling the next day or afterwards or the day before, you know, so it can make it really tiring um, and, you know, she, her body's going to feel different at 135. You know, she's used to having, you know, she says she walks at 145 now, but I know that she used to walk heavier than that and you know because she used to say she can't make 135 so that must have meant she was coming down to 145 obviously um, so having that weight weight is weight when you go to throw someone the more weight you have behind you the better you know of a throw you're usually gonna get and when you're lighter um, the people that she's used to being able to throw around and do whatever in her training camp uh, is not gonna be the same so that also can have effect on your mental like man I'm just I'm not feeling as good for this training camp you know it's because she's littler you know she's gonna not feel she may feel a little quicker but then her, she has to adjust the timing as well which she's used to being heavier and bigger slower so uh, you know that could definitely also have uh, you know consequences I'm not sure we'll have to see huh well, we'll see <laughs> in just about a month's time when you aim to knock her block off good luck yes. to you Misha I know it's gonna be a great fight awesome thank you